So now we're controlling Emma now. Half naked Emma. No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au natural for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. There's no way that it goes back into the lake. No way. And if it does, then oh well. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. I don't see how they're comfortable walking like barefoot on this ground. Out of so this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Holy fuck. There was somebody right there. I've got the high ground, Anakin. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now, you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. No, we like the saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stranger. But fuck, there was somebody like right there at the cabin. Restroom. He was just standing there. Or was that a pigment of my imagination? Pigment. Pigment. My bad. Let's see where we're going now. On this dark and twisted night Jason Voorhees I don't want to miss anything this is where we're heading not too shabby well literally is too shabby but these views oh man you're gonna blow your tops there's also a zip line which I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. Let's go with compassionate. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. 
It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. Little does she know. Little does she know. Let's go check this abandoned, deranged clubhouse. Car keys. Police car keys. I think this might be one of those. I'm sorry, officer. I've no idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave those right there. Oh, I think she made and it. Here we are, as promised. One extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And oh look, it seems, some seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Jesus, you make it so hard on what to do let's search the bag bag it is and you know what i'm putting some clothes on this is all you're getting Okay, so I think there's something up there and it is not going to make me jump. I can promise you that much. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Use the taser. Take a photo. Uh. Oh, shit. Oh, he fell off. Hold it, hold it. <gasps> Fucking spray. Got some goddamn Home Alone shit going on. Use the trap door. <laughs> go, 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 go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Jesus Christ.
Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Oh, man. I could eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> oh, I got it. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are going to find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yep. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Cautious, do you think it has their scent? I hope they're going to be okay. I really hope they're going to be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is going to cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Dude, dude, like, I, I wouldn't know how to act if I had heard my name being called out like that. But let's just go with Hopeful. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We got a call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. I would have been like, send the whole goddamn brigade full. Like, we're under attack. Just call the cops, dude. Uh, cops. Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Ooh. Dead. Just, why did you wait so long, dude? Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay. 
so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably rig something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. All right. Boy, like, do you not understand, like, what's going on out there? Like, I mean, I get it. We'll do calm. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Me... Maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. So for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlyn. How about we just walk around and protect the perimeter? Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like, 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Alright, let's be fair, because they need protection too, and we have one already. Uh, Alright, you're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. real slowly <sighs> all right speed up it's now or never baby
to see you. Good to see you. Ah, <sighs> at time again, is it? Strength. <laughs> Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? I don't know why you ask. You know I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna choose see more. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? Fucking compassionate or grateful. Feel compassionate. How are you holding up? I'm. Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right. They're off to find a radio or something. What's with the um? Uh, oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Uh, let's not speak up. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. Uh, cautious, don't go. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out.
He's got a gun too. I wonder what he's looking for. Is he looking for us? No sign of him. When you find them, blood them. And keep me posted, Bobby. Oh shit. Just hold your breath. Hold it. So this may not be like the best time per se, but like. What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're going to see each other, you know? Uh, sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Confident. Hey, don't worry about Caitlin. She's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Intrigued. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean, of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> you did want it to happen, though. Uh, um, I... You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. Huh. You're just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. What is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay, I got this. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Oh shit, here we go. Oh shit. Okay, let's just hide. Quick. Fuck, this dude's huge. Oh my god, please. Jason Voorhees, get the hell out of here. Oh my god, is the red... It's like some Scooby-Doo shit going on here. has like an actual radio i thought it was just like for your morning announcements oh yeah yeah it used to be more of a actual radio station actually um 
uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything, and, you know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJing or music, or something. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, God what? dang it! It's following us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy oh yeah i mean you know not not here um it's gonna be a fight or flight it's following us though i know that for sure <laughs> 